Ramadan, friends, and Salaamu Alaikum. Welcome to Ramadan Books in Nadia's Nook. Today, we're reading Hamza Hates His Bed by Nemo Ali. In this story, Hamza is scared to sleep by himself at night. What's something that scares you? Well, come on, join me in your jammies and grab your favorite cuddly friend because it's time for... Ramadan books, Ramadan books, Ramadan books in Nadia's nook. Welcome back to my nook, everyone. Are you guys all comfy in your jammies? Great, me too. Who's ready to read? Bismillah, let's begin. Hamza Hates His Bed by Nemo Ali. Every night at bedtime, Hamza throws a fit. He pouts and shouts and stomps his little feet. He says, no, 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 I hate that bed. His mother tries to tell him how comfortable his bed is, but he refuses to listen. Feel how soft your pillow is, says Hamza's mother. I don't care how soft it is cries Hamza. I don't want to sleep there. Hamza looks at his mother with sad eyes. I want to sleep in your bed, he pleads. Hamza, replies Hamza's mother with a sigh. Why do you hate your bed so much? Hamza hugs her tightly. I'm scared to sleep by myself, Mama, he whispers. You have Allah, who is powerful, Hamza's mother tells him. Allah protects you while you sleep. He watches over you at night. Just remember to do something very special before you sleep. If you do, you will never feel scared again. Inshallah, comforts Hamza's mother. Come on, we will do what Prophet Muhammad told us to do before we sleep. That way, Allah will protect us all night, and we will not be afraid of anything, inshallah. With her hands in front of her face, Hamza's mother recites Surah Al-Ikhlas three times, Surah Al-Falak three times, and Surah Al-Nas three times. Then, she blows on her hands three times. Hamza also puts his hands in front of his face, and recites Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah Al-Falak, and Surah Al-Nas three times each. After she is done reciting, Hamza's mother rubs her hands all over her body, starting from her head, moving all the way down to her toes. Hamza copies her movements. Then, Hamza's mother starts reciting Ayatul Kursi, the greatest ayah in the entire Quran. Hamza has not yet learned to recite Ayatul Kursi, so he listens to his mother as she recites the greatest ayah in the entire Quran. When Hamza's mother is finished, she makes more dua. Amin, she says. Amin. Then she faces Hamza, holding his shoulders firmly. You will be protected now, inshallah. Hamza nods his head. His eyelids grow heavy and he puts his hand over his mouth to cover his yawn. Before Hamza's mother can say another word, she notices he's sound asleep. What a good boy, she whispers as she kisses him on the forehead and pulls up his blanket. Good night, son, Hamza's mother whispers again. Salaamu Alaikum. Very carefully, she tiptoes out of the room and closes the door. Wasn't that great how Hamza learns to pray to Allah to feel safe? I think so too. 
What do you guys like to do before bed? Well, inshallah, I can't wait to see you all tomorrow night when we read another book in my nook. Until then, good night and sweet dreams.